Beneath one of the driest places on Earth, scientists have uncovered something astonishing, an enormous hidden ocean buried deep beneath China's Taklamakan Desert. This discovery defies everything we thought we knew about deserts and water resources. But how did it get there? And what secrets does it hold? The answers could change our understanding of the planet itself. But before we dive into this underground ocean, let's first understand the harsh and unforgiving land that has kept this secret buried for thousands of years. The Taklamakan Desert is one of Earth's largest and harshest landscapes, spanning 330,000 square kilometers of shifting dunes. By day, temperatures soar above 60 degrees Celsius, making the ground scorching hot underfoot. The air shimmers with rising heat, and the land seems uninhabitable. But as night falls, this blazing inferno becomes a frozen wasteland, with temperatures plummeting below freezing in just a few hours. Fierce winds stir the sand into a blinding haze. No rain, no rivers, no life. China has transformed parts of this barren land in the last six decades. One of the world's largest solar power plants now stands in the desert, generating over 4 billion kilowatts of electricity annually, enough to power entire cities. This feat isn't just a technological marvel. It proves even the harshest environments can support a sustainable future. Beyond energy, scientists and engineers have battled desertification, planting millions of drought-resistant trees across 42,000 square kilometers. These green belts stabilize soil, halt the advance of dunes, and bring life to once barren land. Once lifeless, now thriving. Yet, the biggest secret isn't above ground. Deep beneath the sand lies an ancient hidden ocean, locked away for thousands of years. Its discovery could redefine our understanding of deserts and hold the key to transforming arid lands worldwide. Could this buried water source unlock the future of survival and sustainability? The answers might change everything. The Taklamakan Desert has kept its secret for thousands of years. Do you think humanity is ready to handle this discovery responsibly? Drop a comment and share your perspective. But what if we told you that this barren wasteland, seemingly devoid of life, hides something extraordinary beneath its surface? A discovery that could challenge everything we thought we knew about deserts. For centuries, the Taklamakan Desert was seen as a barren wasteland, where life struggles, water is a myth, and survival is nearly impossible. But this perception has been shattered. Scientists believe they have discovered a vast underground water reservoir, trapped 1,000 meters beneath the desert floor. This hidden reservoir, estimated at 228,000 trillion cubic meters, is so massive that it could reshape our understanding of underground water systems and offer hope in a world facing freshwater shortages. To put it in perspective, it holds enough water to fill 75 Lake Tahoe or 90 Dead Seas. But how did such a vast body of water end up beneath one of Earth's driest places? Thousands of years ago, the Taklamakan was not a desert but a land of rivers, lakes, and wetlands, supporting ancient civilizations along the Silk Road. Over time, climate shifts, geological changes, and sandstorms buried these water sources beneath layers of sand, clay, and rock. Even today, glacial meltwater from the Tian Shan Mountains seeps underground, trapped beneath the shifting sands. Scientists were unaware of this massive water system until 1984, when an oil exploration team unexpectedly struck water while drilling. Initially thought to be a small aquifer, further research revealed something far more astonishing, a vast underground ocean beneath the desert. This discovery raises an intriguing question. Could this water contribute to agricultural efforts in the region? In theory, it could be possible, but significant challenges exist. Other deserts, like Israel's Negev, have successfully used underground water for agriculture. But accessing this water is difficult. It lies beneath compacted sand and rock, making extraction complex and costly. Overuse could lead to rapid depletion, land subsidence, and environmental disaster, as seen in places like California's Central Valley and India's Punjab. But how exactly did this vast body of water end up beneath the shifting sands of the Taklamakan? To answer that, we need to journey back in time to when this desert was a completely different world. 
Before exploring, I have a special 10-second request for all of you listening. If you can help me in any way, just hit the notification bell and hit that subscribe button. It helps this channel so much. And if you do that, I will do everything I can to make this show even better for you. Deal? Scientists have discovered over 200 trillion cubic meters of groundwater beneath the land, with more than 20% being usable freshwater. This amount is equivalent to about 75 tunnel sap lakes or nearly 90% of the Dead Sea's water. The finding challenges the idea that the region is lifeless, revealing a hidden resource that could transform the ecosystem. If tapped sustainably, this water could turn deserts into fertile land, supporting farming and habitation. However, Overextraction could deplete it quickly, causing environmental damage. Scientists are studying ways to use it wisely to avoid upsetting the natural balance. The discovery has changed how people view the Taklamakan Desert, often considered barren, showing there's much more beneath the sand than previously thought. Despite its extreme heat, the desert holds a vast underground water system that accumulated over thousands of years. This is due to water flowing from surrounding mountains, which remain frozen year-round. When spring and summer arrive, melting snow and ice seep into the ground, gradually forming an underground reservoir. The Taklamakan is not completely isolated, it is bordered by towering mountains like the Tian Shan, which play a crucial role in water supply. Unlike regions with clay or hard rock that trap water in lakes and ponds, the Taklamakan's loose sand doesn't retain surface water. Instead, most of it drains underground. Over centuries, this water has seeped through layers of sand and rock, collecting in a porous rock layer that acts as a natural reservoir. The desert's dry surface helps prevent evaporation, preserving the water deep below. This hidden groundwater could unlock new possibilities for the region. If managed correctly, it could support agriculture and even settlements. However, reckless use could lead to depletion and ecological damage. The Taklamakan still holds many mysteries, but this discovery proves that even the harshest landscapes can hide invaluable natural treasures. But just because the water is there doesn't mean it's easy to access. The real challenge begins now. How can we tap into this hidden reservoir without causing irreversible damage to the desert ecosystem? People have a big role in tapping into and using water resources to boost agriculture and create settlements, even turning the Taklamakan area from a lifeless desert into a thriving land. But this potential comes with some serious challenges. If we exploit the water carelessly or without a solid plan, the water that's built up over thousands of years could run out quickly. If that happens, not only will we lose access to this valuable resource, but we could also push the Taklamakan Desert into an even worse drought than it's ever seen. So there are some tough challenges when it comes to managing these resources. The water sources beneath the desert are not just a precious resource, they're crucial for survival. If there's enough water, people can transform barren land into fertile fields and create bustling communities right in the middle of the desert. However, even though the Taklamakan has a huge underground water reserve, tapping into it isn't easy. One of the biggest challenges is the depth of the groundwater, which is different from flatland areas where you can find it closer to the surface. Just a few meters down in the Taklamakan area, the water lies deep beneath thick layers of sand and aquifers that are usually around 200 to 300 meters deep, with some spots going over 1,000 meters. To reach this water, people have to use high-powered drilling machines, along with high-pressure pumps and modern technical equipment. Drilling hundreds of meters deep into the desert isn't just a technical challenge, it also requires a massive investment in infrastructure, machinery, and energy to keep everything running. Because of this, tapping into groundwater in the Taklamakan is a pretty big challenge. Not every country or organization is equipped to handle the massive costs of extracting groundwater in the desert. Plus, there's the issue of sustainability since the groundwater here doesn't replenish as quickly as in areas with a lot of rain. If people overexploit these water sources, they could run dry much sooner than expected. On top of that, if the groundwater levels drop too fast, it can change the geological structure of the desert, leading to serious land subsidence. This doesn't just mess with water extraction, it also destabilizes the environment. 
The destruction of natural habitats of local plants and animals is causing long-lasting negative effects on the desert ecosystem. So even though the Taklamakan has plenty of underground water, we can't just tap into it randomly. We need a solid management plan that uses advanced technologies like desalination, water recycling, and scientific deep well drilling to make sure this resource is used wisely. If we adopt a sustainable extraction strategy, the Taklamakan Khan could become a promising area for development. But if we exploit it recklessly, we could harm the environment. Could this underground water be the key to transforming the Taklamakan into a thriving green oasis? Or will the risks of extraction outweigh the benefits, leading to unintended consequences? This valuable water source could become increasingly scarce, pushing the entire region toward significant drying trends. The state of water quality and the major challenges in accessing and utilizing it remain critical issues. Even when groundwater beneath the desert is reached, another challenge emerges the water isn't immediately safe for consumption. Unlike groundwater found in plains or forests, desert water is influenced by the harsh environment, high temperatures, and mineral-rich composition. This means that groundwater in the area often contains elevated levels of minerals, naturally occurring heavy metals, and other substances that require treatment. Using it directly for drinking or irrigation without proper processing may not be safe. Cleaning this water is a technically demanding task. Modern water filtration technology can help remove impurities, but the process requires significant energy, advanced techniques, and financial investment. A well-designed filtration system undergoes multiple stages, including desalination, removal of specific contaminants, pH balancing, and additional treatments. Not only must the treated water meet safety standards, but it also needs to be transported across long distances sometimes hundreds of kilometers to reach communities and agricultural areas where it is needed. Since the water source is typically deep, ranging from around 200 to over 1,000 meters, extraction involves specialized drilling equipment, high-pressure pumps, and a skilled technical team. These requirements contribute to high initial investment costs, often making access difficult in many areas. Each cubic meter of clean water can become expensive, posing challenges for large-scale implementation. Additionally, without regular upkeep, filtration systems may experience reduced efficiency due to clogged filters, increasing maintenance expenses. Thus, while groundwater is an important resource, optimizing its use presents both technical and economic challenges that require careful long-term planning. Don't let this hidden ocean stay a secret. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss more groundbreaking discoveries like this one. But tapping into this hidden treasure isn't just a technical challenge, it's also an environmental dilemma. What happens if we take too much too fast? Along with the technical challenges and investment costs, groundwater extraction in the Taklamakan region brings serious consequences for the natural environment. Unlike areas with abundant and easily replenished aquifers, the groundwater systems in this desert are interconnected in a complex way. Without careful management, excessive extraction could cause water levels to drop rapidly, potentially leading to significant environmental challenges. For instance, in some areas with soft erosion-prone soil, land subsidence could occur. The depletion of groundwater disrupts the natural balance of the soil structure increasing the risk of landslides and surface cracks. This process doesn't just degrade already arid regions, it also leads to inefficiencies in water usage, as valuable underground water may be lost rather than utilized effectively. Additionally, natural ecosystems in the region are increasingly vulnerable. Although deserts are often seen as harsh and dry, many plant and animal species have adapted to these conditions and rely on small underground water reserves. Excessive groundwater extraction could potentially reduce biodiversity and threaten some species, accelerating desertification and leading to the loss of remaining fertile soil. Beyond environmental concerns, over-extraction also affects local communities, particularly those living on the desert's edge who depend on these water sources for daily life and agriculture. If water levels decline due to industrial extraction, these communities could experience severe shortages impacting livelihoods and food production. 
unregulated water use may worsen water scarcity, potentially leading to migration pressures in affected areas. Given these risks, China should carefully manage groundwater extraction in the Taklamakan Desert to ensure sustainability. With modern technology, prioritizing responsible water management is essential for long-term environmental and economic stability. If you had access to this hidden underground ocean, how would you use it, preserve it for future generations, or tap into it to transform the desert? Let us know your thoughts below. So what does the future hold for this incredible discovery? Will the Taklamakan Desert become a model for sustainable water use, or will history repeat itself, leading to another environmental crisis? The discovery of a substantial underground water reserve in the Taklamakan Desert is a significant scientific finding with vast potential. However, using this resource requires caution, scientific precision, and a commitment to sustainability. Experts from the Chinese Academy of Water Sciences stress the need for balance and meeting human needs while protecting the environment. This means mapping underground reserves, establishing responsible extraction policies, and ensuring water is not depleted faster than it replenishes. Advanced filtration and desalination methods must be developed to minimize waste, while water recycling and efficient irrigation can maximize usage and reduce impact. If managed wisely, this hidden water source could revolutionize water management, not just in China, but globally. In 50 years, the Taklamakan Desert could be home to sustainable water projects, solar-powered desalination plants, and precision irrigation, transforming barren sands into thriving agricultural and ecological zones. Countries like Israel and the United Arab Emirates have already demonstrated that strategic water management can turn arid regions into productive landscapes. The Taklamakan can, could follow suit if action is taken responsibly. This discovery presents both opportunity and risk. Unregulated extraction could impact ecosystems, strain water availability, and contribute to environmental challenges. Thoughtful management, however, could mark a milestone in environmental sustainability. The choice is ours. Water is the key to life, and knowledge is the key to understanding it. Subscribe to stay updated on the science shaping our future. If you found today's video interesting, don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Your support is very important to us. Be sure to check out the next video appearing on your screen. You're sure to love the content we bring. Please leave a comment about which country you'd like us to explore next. Thank you for watching and see you in the latest video. Thanks for being with us. Leave a comment, like to show your support, and remember to hit that subscribe button for more exciting videos. See you next time.